Every year in Nebraska, we'll see significant stand problems in our soybean fields when we're looking at just getting those established. Um, today, we're gonna spend some time talking about seedling diseases in soybeans and what we see uh, typically for symptoms and how to identify those and then what to do for management. So first of all, when we're looking at a soybean seedling disease, we're gonna see pockets, kind of like the pockets we're in or we're in right now uh, when we're, we're looking at this field uh, where we've got kind of a low spot Many times we'll see low spots associated with our diseases that like higher moisture availability, like our pythiums and phytophthoras, or what we consider our water mold diseases. Uh, and then sometimes we'll see diseases that like drier conditions, like our fusariums and our rhizoctonias, that'll be favored by other conditions than those wet disease-liking conditions. So when we're looking at this distribution-wise in the field, we're gonna see pockets many times, Many times those will be associated with moisture or uh, exposed knolls in the field, uh, high spots. Maybe we've got some oval areas where we've got different soil conditions, possibly some compaction. But in any event, typically with seedling disease, we're gonna see some pockets to that distribution. It's not gonna be field wide typically. It'll be in concentrated areas. Then when we dig up, individual plants and we're trying to look at symptoms you know we're going to see those that injury with those cotyledons having some yellowing or browning on them many times those plants that are being affected by a seedling disease will oftentimes have that cotyledon even drop off or be completely yellow and then as a post-emergent symptom we may also see those lower leaves starting to burn on the margin or wilt and yellow so when we see any symptom that makes that plant look not as healthy as adjacent plants. And again, it won't be every plant in the row. When we're seeing those symptoms of cotyledon discoloration, of any leaf margin burning, uh, those are those precursors to what many times will result in a post-emergent damping off plant or a seedling that may succumb to that disease even a little bit later in the season. Now, most of our seedling diseases that we're gonna see are gonna affect that plant typically up into the early vegetative stages maybe up to a five leaf stage of development. The one exception to that is Phytophthora. And when we see Phytophthora, we can see that at the seedling stage, we can see it as a seed rot, we can see it as a seedling damping off, and then we can also even see it as a, as a post-emergence disease even into the reproductive stages of the soybean crop. So for identification of a seedling disease, you know, we're gonna look at that distribution pattern in the field, we're gonna look at those individual plants and, and look for symptoms on those cotyledons, uh, those leaf tips burning on those younger leaves, maybe the unifoliate leaves even. Uh, and then we're gonna look for that uh, post-emergence damping off symptom if the whole plant is dead. And then finally, looking plant to plant to see some distribution of that pattern within the row, because many times this will just be small pockets in the row that we have stand uh, reduction in. The other thing we can do when we're looking at, at identification is to go ahead and collect a sample, uh, dig that full plant out, going into the margins of some of these affected plant areas, collect that sample, uh, put that in a plastic bag, and send that off to a diagnostic lab to make sure you're, you're getting it identified correctly so that in future years, you can take the right steps for management of your soybean stand problems.